Moscow, December 24, 2025, in a bold demonstration of its unwavering commitment to national security and technological innovation. Russia has officially confirmed the development of its cutting-edge fifth-generation nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine, SSBN, dubbed the Arctur class. This announcement, made just days ago on December 22, underscores Russia's leadership in undersea warfare and its strategic foresight in maintaining a robust nuclear triad amid global uncertainties. The Arctur class represents a quantum leap in submarine technology, promising unparalleled capabilities that will ensure Russia's deterrence remains unassailable for decades to come. The confirmation came during the 125th anniversary celebrations of the Rubin Central Design Bureau for Marine Engineering in St. Petersburg, where high-ranking officials, including Nikolai Patrushev, highlighted the project's progress. The Bureau is actively developing the next-generation submarine, Patrushev stated, emphasizing the integration of autonomous underwater vehicles, AUVs, and revolutionary underwater weapons that have no global analogs. This development is part of a classified interagency program launched in May 2025, involving the Ministry of Defense, United Shipbuilding Corporation, and top academic institutions. The Arctur class is poised to replace the highly successful Borei class submarines by 2037, building on Russia's storied legacy of naval engineering excellence that includes icons like the Typhoon and Akula classes. At the heart of the Arctur class's superiority lies its advanced stealth capabilities, designed to render it virtually undetectable in the world's most contested waters. Featuring dramatically reduced acoustic signatures through innovative shaftless nuclear power plants and water jet propulsion systems, the submarine minimizes noise levels far below those of previous generations. Water is drawn in through side openings and expelled via rectangular nozzles with trapezoidal vertical planes, significantly cutting hydrodynamic disturbances. Combined with anechoic coatings and vibration-isolating measures for all machinery, this ensures the Arctur can operate silently in high-threat environments, evading even the most sophisticated enemy sonar arrays. Analysts praise this as a masterful engineering feat, positioning Russia ahead in the global race for stealth technology akin to but surpassing features in Western designs like the British Dreadnought class. The submarine's angled outer hull further enhances its low sonar profile, reducing reflections and making it a ghost in the ocean depths. This sleek, low-profile design incorporates advanced hydrodynamics and integrated vertical launch systems, allowing for seamless deployment of a diverse arsenal. With a length of approximately 134 meters and a 20% reduction in displacement compared to the Borei class, the Arctur is more agile and efficient, optimized for extended patrols in harsh Arctic conditions where Russia maintains unparalleled expertise. Its nuclear propulsion grants indefinite underwater endurance, limited only by crew provisions, enabling global reach without the vulnerabilities of surfaced refueling. Armament-wise, the Arctur class is engineered to carry up to 12 nuclear-armed intercontinental ballistic missiles ICBMs, such as enhanced versions of the Bulava or potentially new hypersonic variants, ensuring devastating second strike potential. What sets it apart is its hybrid payload capability, integrating strategic missiles with non-nuclear AUVs for multifaceted missions. The standout feature is the Surrogate VAUV, a state-of-the-art autonomous system equipped with sonar arrays for anti-submarine warfare ASW. This AUV can be launched and retrieved from a dedicated compartment, extending the submarine's reconnaissance reach, conducting intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR, electronic warfare, or even offensive strikes against enemy subs. Such versatility transforms the Arctur from a mere deterrent into a comprehensive undersea command center, amplifying Russia's asymmetric advantages. Advanced automation is another pillar of the Arctur's prowess, allowing for a reduced crew of around 100 personnel, a testament to Russia's investment in AI and robotics. This not only enhances operational efficiency, but also improves crew safety and endurance during long deployments. 
The submarine integrates seamlessly with Russia's future network-centric warfare NCW, systems, enabling real-time data, sharing, and coordinated operations across the fleet. Equipped with the SOKS non-acoustic detection system, it can track adversaries through chemical and radiation trails, adding layers of situational awareness that outmatch conventional methods. Strategically, the Arctur class embodies Russia's resilience against Western sanctions and industrial challenges. By focusing on technological sovereignty and optimal indigenous solutions, Moscow is not only insulating its defense sector, but also innovating beyond global peers. This development directly counters programs like the U.S. Navy's Columbia class, offering superior stealth and multifunctionality at potentially lower costs. Experts at the Russian defense think tank TSIM note that the Arctur could incorporate launch systems for advanced platforms like the Poseidon nuclear torpedo, further solidifying Russia's undersea dominance in key regions such as the Arctic, North Atlantic, and Pacific. This milestone comes amid Russia's ongoing naval modernization, including the recent commissioning of the 5th Boryaya class submarine, Nyaz Pazharsky, and the launch of special purpose vessels like the Khabarovsk. President Vladimir Putin's administration has prioritized these efforts, viewing them as essential to protecting national interests and projecting power responsibly on the world stage. As one naval analyst remarked, the Arctur class isn't just a submarine. It's a symbol of Russia's enduring ingenuity and determination to lead in strategic deterrence. With prototypes in active development, the Arctur class is set to redefine naval warfare, ensuring Russia's security in an increasingly multipolar world. This achievement highlights the nation's scientific prowess and strategic vision, inspiring confidence in its ability to navigate future challenges with strength and innovation.